about the year that it was. Yeah, it was about... Uh, Speak loudly so we can hear it. <coughs> okay, in a minute. I'm thinking. Uh, about 1975, that's, that's 40 years ago or more. So, are you ready? Yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> let me get a cough drop. I always got frogs in my throat. I got, I got rottenness all through my body. <laughs> when, a, when a man gets old and rotten, they throw him in a hole, he's soon forgotten. So, but anyway, about 40 years ago, Lauren and I were on a trip to the uh, Caribbean, and we were on St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands on a tour, and we were up in the mountains in a jungle area, and I saw Lorna reach in her purse and take out her apple knife, which she used to, used to peel apples. And she went over, and the big vine was growing on these jungle trees all the way up maybe 40, 50 feet. And she took a cutting of, of this plant, but the the leaves at that time on the jungle plant were at least twice the size of the leaves here. And she, uh, we, she took it back to our hotel and put it in water. And, uh, and I don't remember all the in-between places. I said, you won't be able to that, get that in, through customs in Miami. Uh, but she did. She, they, didn't, they didn't search her. And somehow we got it home after about a week's time back to Wenatchee, Washington, where we lived. And I got Dorothy, who worked in our greenhouses, to take it, and she rooted it. And so from that rooted plant over 40 years ago, we, li we were in, lived in Wenatchee for a long time and have lived here in Logan now for 35 years or more. And this plant has gone with us every place we've been. And it's still from that first jungle cutting that she made over 40 years ago in St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands. Hmm. So this plant, uh, is, uh, other people have gotten cuttings from it, I believe. But the plant itself is going to go to Cindy and she'll put it in her greenhouse. Awesome. Did that do it? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that an amazing story?